Continuing from the previous video, this is going to be a video on basic flight with the KA-50. To start out, I need to cover a couple basics. This right here is your cyclic. Just like with the fixed wing aircraft, push it forwards to go pitch down, pull it back, pitch up. Move it to the left to roll left, move it to the right, roll right. Down here we have our collective. This increases and decreases the pitch on the blades on the rotors. Basically, raise it up for more lift, drop it down for less. We also have our throttle here, which I showed in the startup. 99% uh, of the time you're going to leave that on automatic. If you take it off automatic, you are beyond this video. Also continuing from the previous video, we have our four autopilot channel or our four autopilots on. We have flight director, pitch, bank, and heading. Now, to take off, first thing I'm gonna do is bring up the control overlay here. You can see here it shows where all of our controls are. That right there is collective. You can see here my cyclic. Now first thing we're going to do is trim it for takeoff. So I'm going to push this a little bit forwards and press the trim button. When I let go of the trim button, that becomes the new center position for our joystick. Next, I'm going to slowly raise up the collective and adjust the pitch because um, it's going to want to drift. So we'll try to go up into a hover. I don't normally take off into a hover, but for this video I will, or try to anyways. And then we can just go. There's no reason to really linger. Press G to raise the landing gear. And uh, take off is something that's just going to take you a few attempts. Um, there's no way around it. Practice makes perfect. The aircraft is equipped with wheels. You can kind of see them there. So you can roll and taxi and such on the ground. It's not like a Huey with skids. In flight, it's pretty different from a fixed wing aircraft. You still have your yaw with your rudder pedals. You still have your bank, and you still have your pitch, and then you have collective, which is kind of like power, but not really. Um, if you want to go faster, you're going to pitch forwards and increase collective. If you want to slow down, you're going to pitch up and decrease collective to maintain altitude. Or not. Depends on what you want to do. To turn, you're going to bank and apply yaw into the turn. And this is where you can go a little bit nuts with it. You can turn fast, you can turn shallow, you can bleed speed, you can keep it. It all depends on what you want to do. It's very fluid. And there's no way for me to explain it. You're just going to have to practice. Now one thing you'll notice very early on is as you increase speed, you're going to need to apply more and more left roll. This is because of asymmetric lift. Your rotor blades are wings, and the wing going into the wind is moving faster than the wing going with the wind. Because of that, there's going to be an asymmetric lift. On this particular aircraft, it's going to want to roll right, so we have to apply left bank and a little bit of right yaw to counteract all the various forces. Now, that should cover the basics of flight. You are going to have to practice. This is going to take time. And the KA-50 is actually by far the easiest helicopter in DCS to fly because it does have this autopilot stabilization. I can uh, demo that off real quick. And you can see I'm suddenly much more maneuverable, but I'm also a lot less stable. That said, you're going to have to be able to master this too, because any times you have a hydraulics problem, which will happen, 
because it's combat, um, you're going to have to disable all your autopilots. But I'm going to go ahead and turn those back on for now. Now landing is pretty straightforward. You drop the landing gear with the G key. We have our indicators there. Red for up, green for down. Pretty sensible. Because this is a chopper, we can land anywhere we damn well please. Like the roof of that building. So what we do is we go come into a hover, or something close to a hover. It doesn't have to be perfect with any of them, not even the Huey. You can, it has skis. It's designed to skid. And I don't want to land on anything sticking up. So I'm going to drift over here. Yeah, that looks like a good spot. Now we have this indicator here, which shows how far off a hover we are. I'm going to go ahead and uh, abort this so you can get a better look at it. As you can see, it grows with our speed, and it points in the direction we, uh, we're traveling. You can also see that that uh, little bar disappears as soon as you get above 50 kilometers an hour. Ground speed. It does use uh, radar to determine that. Where'd that nice flat building go? There it is. We also have this um, weather vane up here on the nose, and that's immensely helpful, especially if your HUD has a problem or your um, Doppler navigation system fails. It's also good at high speed to tell you what's going on. So just as with takeoff, we slowly reduce collective until we descend, and adjust our cyclic here to compensate for any changes. And there will be changes. Touchdown, fly break. And try not to tip over. Um, if you can't come in with a pure hover, come in moving forwards. It does have wheels. You can, I wouldn't say land it like a traditional aircraft, but I mean, you can land going 40, 50 kilometers an hour forwards, no problem. I'll demo that real quick on the uh, taxiway. Kissed the ground there. Didn't mean to. And there you go. You can also taxi with the uh, rudder and pitch forwards if you apply a little bit of collective. You can taxi pretty comfortably. And as I said, we do have wheel brakes. I do not believe we have differential brakes. So yeah, that's all there is to it that in about a thousand hours of practice. So, have fun, and good luck. Uh, for the next video I'll go into um, the navigation system and maybe combat. I'll just have to see what I want to do. Thanks for watching.